Oh shit, what's up dude? You are listening to Swamp Talk, brought to you by Brettle Brook Studio. Here's your hosts, Sean Miller and Corey Bush. Help. Help me. Zing you. Oh shit! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> uh, I mean, All right. I'm, yeah, I'm Calm down. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Calm down. Shut, shut him up. Appreciate it. I swear to people, God, I'm a fucking gun. People, calm down. All right, thank you, thank you. And here we are, episode 30. We fucking oh, did it. Shit. We made it. This is our 30th anniversary episode. Ah, uh, dude, you got the bottle opener? Um. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, shit, thank you, mystery guest. Here you go. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. We have two mystery guests. Are you one and I'm two? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can fight over the number. Uh, I'm one. If you please. Oh, you can be one. I'll be two. All right, man. All right, episode 30. Episode 30. <laughs> Drinking fucking Blue Point Toasted Lager tonight. Um, Alpine. Lager, brisk and smooth. Mm. Sam Adams. Air. Mm. Sam Air Dums. <laughs> All right, let's jump right into it. How about we? Huh? Just gonna jump right into it. Yeah. All right, well, no, not three. right into news, but we're gonna jump right into this episode and introduce our guest. All right. Guess. I'm guess one. All right. Guess one <laughs> is Goose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? And guest number two, Snow. Oh, shit. And we got Snow. We got Goose and Snow. Snow Goose. Snow Goose. Snow goose. Yo, we got Snow Goose in the house. Okay, well, now I'm one. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> it just it flows better that way. <laughs> All right. Well, they aren't drinking anything because apparently they didn't catch the memo. Air. I did not know. I was uninformed. Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, settle down, settle down. Thank you, thank you. Go fuck yourself. Thank you. All right, have a good day. Oh, here's your news. Newly painted road in Britain misspells entry as Henry. Henry. Officials in a British town took a social media took to social media to make light of the newly painted road that featured a small spelling error and very large letters. No Henry. <laughs> no Henry. The road outside of the parking garage in the city center of Meldon, England? Something like that. That doesn't sound English. It's like right around the corner from Henry. Get out of here. (laughs) Was supposed to be painted to read no entry, no shit. Uh, But residents quickly realized that the message was missing the letter T. Um, I have a complaint. No, you got to do your British voice. Oh, I got a complaint. There is no T in entry on the road down there. It says Henry, and as my name, Henry, I am offended. That was the worst. (laughs) I have ever heard in my entire life. I enjoyed it. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Well, carry on. All right. Carpool lane driver found using... Cheerio. Cheerio. Right. Carpool lane driver found to be using a mannequin as a passenger. The California... That's creepy. That's creepy. Why why is this news, though? Imagine driving past that. Oh, Some the, people were so offended that this had to be in the news in California. Probably because they thought it was a dead person. Oh Why are they God, standing perfectly guy. still the whole time? This guy. He just seems like a lonely man just talking to a fucking mannequin. <laughs> I bet it wouldn't be news if it was a blow-up doll with its know. mouth pre-lubricated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at that point, you just don't question it. That guy's lonely. Well, maybe the Wait. guy with the mannequin's lonely. Oh, we talked about a man in, uh, what was it, Japan? Who uh, Japanican? Had, 
who had a whole town of mannequins because everyone moved out. <laughs> Japan, mannequin the mannequin town. Oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Town was getting empty, so he got lonely and made a bunch of mannequins that looked just like the people that oh, lived I in the town. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Yep, yeah, the Japanican yeah, town. Yeah, he totally the, killed yeah. them people and oh yeah, no, made he, wax dolls. Yeah, all that's them. what that's, that's crazy. That's it's what like the Hot town of wax or whatever that fucking movie was Panic based. House of Wax with Paris Hilton. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. That's what that was based off of. No, I'm just kidding. I'm I just was kidding. about to say what? That was a good movie. <laughs> It was a good movie. It was corny, but it was good. It, it was good. It had a good concept. I wish they would remake it better, or make it better and without Paris Hilton. It yeah, was I was about to say, most remakes don't come out the way that they're supposed to be, so Where I Where is know. Paris Hilton now? Has she just dried up to be beef jerky yet, or is I'm she still like pretty sure popping she around? Kids. Very white beef jerky. I, I'm going to look it up. No. Unhealthy jerky. Maybe like Albino jerky. she turned sideways, slid into a crack, and got stuck in somebody's duck board. <laughs> <laughs> the possibilities right there. I mean, oh, wow, she's shaped she's like a splinter. She's 40 years old. Oh, my yeah. God. What, what does she look like now? Does she look hideous? Um, is she a fucking hobgoblin bridge troll monster? Trying to find her Instagram. <laughs> Try and find her insides. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh there it is. <laughs> right on top. Oh, man. No. All yeah. right. Uh, she yeah, looks this different, actually. Oh, not like too too different. Like a but good like, or like a bad? Yeah, good or bad. Older. She looks better Mature? than she did. No, that's lies. Fifteen years ago. I can't. Okay, see. okay. Well, she lo- she looks. Right, yeah, you. a little better. You know, a little better. Not well. That's a filter. Oh well, yeah, then, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's the one that I was looking <laughs> that's at. Like, so that's a filter in a surgery. You women, <laughs> all the like time. Typical. Typical everyday uh, filter on Facebook. She, like, just woke up like this. Let me just cover up and conceal all my blemishes. Let me me just put on a fucking mask. I woke up like this and put a clown mask on. Yeah. Snap the filter right on it. (laughs) Fucking clown. Let me just put the clown emoji with this photo, because that's what I'm representing. Because that's what makes me look sexy. Clowns. (laughs) Clowns. Juggling. (laughs) A clown-shaped cloud. (laughs) A clown-shaped. Filter. Did you <laughs> did you finish? No. Reading this. The California Highway Patrol said a driver using a high occurrence uh, using the higher currency vehicle lanes uh, of a highway uh, was found to actually be traveling alone, except for one of the best dummies police had ever seen. The California Highway Police said. An officer stationed at Baldwin Park pulled over a truck traveling in the HOV lane. I guess that's what high they voltage call it. Omar lane. Yep, almost. Almost on Wednesday because the vehicle's <laughs> windows were tinted too dark oh. for the officer to I see. That was only a like if the driver had a passenger. No, tinting is just that's a whole other subject. That's like, that's reaching. That's reaching. cops reaching for a reason to pull you over. Yeah. Seal rescued after crossing Canadian Highway. Fucking Canada. That's that's skill for a seal. Yeah, well, I mean, fucking but highway? look, all the Canadians. How busy is the highway so, in Canada? But they're though. so damn polite. They stop. Oh, they, they come to it. They all stop. And they're like traffic stopped on that highway. Even both sides, like they saw it from the other side, and that side of traffic stopped, and they all waited. For the seal to cross, and then once the seal was four miles away, closer to the water, that's when traffic resumed on these and highways. I was like, well, let's get this thing going, bud. Yeah. Oh fuck, bud. We gotta oh, get fuck, this fucking we seal got the out seal. of the road. Seal, just fucking yeah. get him out of the well, road and like fucking help him cross the street. Seal going on a bit. And there's that one asshole from America that just fucking runs into everybody. <laughs> fuck this After the seal. four miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Police in Canada's Prince Edward Island said they wrangled a loose seal for the second time in a week after one of the animals was spotted crossing a highway. Dude, these fucking seals. Why'd they wrangle it? Right. (laughs) The Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Oh my God, they attacked it on horseback. (laughs) In Prince Edward Island said officers stationed in the Queen's District were called out Tuesday on a report of a seal pup 
crossing a highway near Fairview and headed towards the field in the opposite direction from the water. Oh, well, they probably redirected it. So this yeah. probably took like half a day right, for so traffic I'm, to resume I'm going to be highway. honest. This, this seal must be fast as fuck if they're like have to go on horses. Maybe the seal like, is r- special <laughs> um, and needed more guidance on where water was. I mean, it's an really? island, so I don't know how the fuck he got lost and got it out of the water. I mean, eventually he's going to end up near water, right? Yeah. At some yeah. point in time. He's on an island. Varying on how far you go. Yeah, well, dumb, dumb idiot, Steel. Yep. Dumb, dumb idiot. Or maybe he just wanted to go to the store to get a twofer. Oh, yep. Honestly, I forgot. They just got are his, in Canada. He just got his pogey, and now he's going to go buy a fucking Mickey. <laughs> sure thing, fucking, buddy. <laughs> Whatever they call the liquor stores over in Prince Edward Island. Probably liquor stores. Yeah, but they have a specific name. Store liquors. <laughs> this is where we store liquor. <laughs> That's probably what it would be called. This is where we have liquor. That's the name of the store. <laughs> Illinois police seeking owner of belligerent guinea fowl. <laughs> what is a guinea fowl? I, I, I have no picture. idea. Probably a smaller version of a fowl oh it's it a little bird int- yeah uh, bird. i was i retract my last statement i was about to say it sounds intense. oh that is not a little bird okay that thing's about the size of a turkey there we go it sounds intense <laughs> oh yeah oh it's like boy. a pigeon from here well i mean it looks like a zoom in? like a peacock without the colors oh, no don't bring me to the person's facebook Oh, great. oh God! Oh God! Oh, God. I liked it. How do you use social great. media? Oh, God. <laughs> Shit! I'm following them. Oh fuck! Oh, oh man. no! I'm their top five subscriber. <laughs> oh God! How did this happen so quickly? <laughs> One click led to a thousand. <laughs> oh God! Police uh, in Illinois said they were trying to find the owner of a belligerent and foul smell, <laughs> foul smelling guinea fowl, found oh, wandering <laughs> loose in the town. The Swansea Police Department posted a photo really on Facebook bad? of what the of what the department <laughs> misidentified as a missing chicken. Do <laughs> the police were like, "Hey, this fucking uh, bird stinks." Uh, fowls <laughs> smell. This fowl smells foul. I got. I <laughs> have to foul know. Smell. Do guinea guinea fowl smell? Uh, yeah, they smell foul. They smell like chicks. A little feathery. Well, the, <laughs> oh, I say, hold on, what, what kind of chicks are you talking about here? Like, but, Baby like, chickens, chicks. But I never smell the chick. You just—they smell like, a little feathery. It says, and the poop <laughs> smells like poop. But it's certainly not worse than chicks. Oh man, this shit smells like shit. <laughs> oh damn, this is some foul shit. If right If your here. smells really bad, I would worry that they are deceased. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> straight up. Shit. That's Google. That oh is Google. Boy. Uh, Thanks, Google. That's some foul shit for real. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. They were just chasing around a dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, been like, How God, it, it smells horrible. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Los Angeles man reunites with cat who vanished 15 years ago. It's oh my God! Cool. You can time. enjoy four weeks with your cat before it dies. Oh. A cat that went. A stray about 15 years ago has been reunited, older and maybe wiser, with its owner. Brandy, a brown tabby, was reunited Monday afternoon with Charles, who adopted her as a two-month-old kitten in 2005. Aww. I saw her, I picked her up, and she started to purr, and it was very emotional, Charles said. It was nice to have her in my arms again. You just picked up someone else's yeah, cat. Yeah, it was just somebody else's <laughs> someone cat. Someone else's cat. The just, cat fucking died years his, ago. Let's this is his it. way of justifying him stealing somebody else's cat. I've <laughs> lost this cat 15 years ago. I it's picked mine. it up and it started purring. Clearly it's mine. <laughs> clearly, clearly it's not just a normal cat happy to, you know, interact with a human. But no, this is my cat that I lost 15 years ago. Brandy was found Sunday in... Palmdale, about 40 miles from where Charles lives in San Fernando Valley area of Los Angeles. So, what kind of name is Brandy for a cat? So, all right, first of all, they're in Los Angeles. 
There's no fucking way your cat from 15 years ago is alive or is going to find you if it vanished 15 years ago. That's a big city. There's a lot of stray cats. There's a lot of cats. There's a lot of vehicles. Probably. And big highways. That shit died. Brandy died. Or moved on. To some some other better endeavors. Brandy found a yeah, single Brandy, mother. With Brandy the brown tabby, issues. gone, gone. <laughs> Rip. You stole somebody else's cat, Charles. You senile old bastard. Definitely need a different name than Brandy, though. <laughs> oh, he he probably stuck with uh, the original owner's name for the cat this time. Yeah. Fucking thief. <laughs> <laughs> Suspicious package reported in Britain was a message in a fucking bottle. Oh, every you know week all we have about a, these. You, every week we have a story about yeah. a fucking message in a bottle, and they're always over in fucking England. I guess this is a relevant they either come thing from England or Canada. Yeah, well, I the mean, two. they're basically the same, almost. So, like, Canada's our Europe. I, I know about the saying, but like. What is the point of putting the message in the bottle? Like, the full point. Like I don't uh, know. Uh, back you, in the day, trying to when you were stranded, it was hopes that someone would find you, not realizing that there's millions of islands, and God knows it would take fucking forever to find you. You're probably dead by the time we find you. More than likely. Nowadays, it's uh, to just... Send messages. Uh, they're like Man. time capsules because they take so long. Yeah, to that's to what I was thinking. Them. Yeah, like that like, dude that's... that sent fucking that. What was it? Thirty years ago, he sent. Yeah, out the it's basically a bottle. time capsule of a message he sent. So like, had a, a wedding really ring delayed in it. instant message. It was his mother's. It's like his mother's, mother's wedding ring. Trying to send a, a text but not having it's, service. It's, so it's like you're waiting sending you're back in service. <laughs> it's like sending a text. <laughs> But Internet Explorer was your provider. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Takes oh, like God. Two that, that, years. I'll see you in a decade. <laughs> a spinning wheel. A British police officer responding to a report of a suspicious package said he was pleasantly surprised to discover the object was a message in a bottle from a local family. Uh, okay. Winchester, Winchester said in the... Post that he located the object, which turned out to be a bottle containing a note up from the Adams family, bearing the date oh. of November eleventh, twenty twenty. Actual Adams family? I don't know. Oh, probably. <laughs> but it says know. Adams family. The surgeon, surgeon, added his own note to the bottle and returned it to where it was found. Why return it? it there. They're like those caches, the geocaches. You kind of like leave a note for somebody else to find in the yeah. future. And then it's like, eventually one day they're just going to be so jam-packed with all this litter and fucking trash that you're just going to like pull oh, out dude. the things and start a fire with it and not read the <laughs> notes. Like, oh, thanks to whoever oh, stuffed God. this bottle with paper that I can start a fire with. I need that. You really saved my life. I'm lost at sea. I need this fire. <laughs> you're amazing. Thanks for all your pointless messages. <laughs> Look, resources. <laughs> <laughs> a treeless island. Did you? See? He picks up the bottle with the only paper in it. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. Oh my god! You, you me go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh wait, tomato sauce was sold in the 1800s as medicine. Oh, I feel like everything. That's like a sauce or a drink or an alcoholic beverage was once medicine. Yeah, yeah if you were medicine. able to ingest it, they're just like, here, this is good for you. <laughs> Take it. Take it. <laughs> a donkey will sink in quicksand, but a meal won't. That's interesting. I kind of want to try this. and Where Actually, find... I want to see if there's a video of people who've tried this. Uh, yeah, that? how do you how do you find that out? I don't know, like, but I want to meet the person who figured it out, <laughs> and then call Peta on his ass. So, <laughs> what does quicksand actually look like here? Does it, does it look like just sinking sand, or is it just like it's like it looks um, like normal sand until you step in it? Yeah, well, yeah, kinda. You can't really tell. Hmm. It's weird. It is weird. 
It's like a really fine sand, like powder, oh, almost. God. And then it's mixed with like water un- underneath it, and it bubbles up, and it creates like this weird like singing motion. Science. Yeah. <laughs> Science rules. That and I watched <laughs> MythBusters do it. I believe they did it in like a controlled. Environment. Oh, a bunch of like, YouTube. The guy was just sitting sand. on sand, and then they turned it on underneath him, and you can just see him like slowly sink from like solid to like it just turned to water. Like it was the craziest thing ever. Just I think it might have even been vibration that does it huh. too. It's weird. Uh, they have make. They, uh, I watched one guy make one in, in the hot tub, I think it was. Yeah, the hot tub I've seen. He, he just put it like a pipes through the bottom of it and put little holes in it so the air can come up. And he put a bunch of sand in there and it turned to liquid when he turned it, the air on. It was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it's, you just yeah. have to get air in there somehow. That's like the main factor in creating quicksand. Hmm. Like, like, water like Minecraft almost. Like if you remove the bottom of sand and it's up top... <laughs> above you, it'll all just come crashing down on you, and you'll suffocate in it. Yeah, and Minecraft did it right. Yeah, they know. Physics. <laughs> yeah, physics. <laughs> and you'll die. <laughs> a lion in the wild usually makes no more than 20 kills a year. How? That's Is that it? enough to live off of? 20 kill streak? Mu- That's all you got? Yeah, 20 kill streak? <laughs> Pathetic. Snoop Lion? No wonder why you changed your name back to Snoop <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god. No, uh, like... India has a bill of rights for cows. Yeah, cows yeah, are sacred. Yeah, well, I mean, there. they are sacred. Yeah. There. Yep. Yep. I mean, cleanliness definitely isn't. So, something had to be sacred. <laughs> Moo, motherfucker. You can go ahead and remove that out of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's damn. Uh, <laughs> dart boards are made out of horse hairs. Wait, what really? dart? Dart boards? Dart boards? Are made out of okay. horse Okay, I can see that, yeah. I can, yeah, I can picture That's, that, though. No, they are felty. They are felty, but, like, once there's a hole in it, that hole never, like, goes back. It's always there permanently. It's probably something oh, that yeah, they Yeah, because some of them are made out of cork. Cause... Yeah, the cork. That's I'm used to cork. Cork dart board. Eventually, you have to just throw it away because it's useless. I'm going to call that yeah, one I was about to say, there's a bushy one, so... There yeah, are bushy that's... ones, but aren't those, like... They're not... The... What the hell's flashing behind me? My screen. Um, aren't those, like, the special tips, like the plastic tip ones for the bushy ones? I don't... Or is don't it still a metal so. tip? I think it's still metal. Hmm. I'm not a fan of bush. <laughs> We're talking about the president, or are we talking about <laughs> <laughs> all bushes? Which is ironic because my last name's Bush, <laughs> as you can see right there on the back of my hat. Nice, bada boom, bada boom. Get your DSB hat by contacting Dylan Street Boys Facebook. Top of oh, merch. Yeah, we also have a f- uh, um, a phone number. Oh yeah, too that you can call and leave a message. And yeah, go ahead and. and- Four one three three four four. Four. Oh fuck! He it's on the paper behind you. <laughs> what paper? On the to be the continued pink, on the screen. Oh, shit! Oh <laughs> gosh! The oh, mic. God. I want to say it's four zero oh, five eight. Wait, two four? Those numbers? No, on the bottom. Oh. Uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Brattlebrook Studios, 413-344-4058. Yep. Call us if you want merchandise. Yeah, you got to leave a message because we're not going to call you back. Or if you want to be an extra. Yes, indeed. Ah, Grapes explode when you put them in the microwave. I found that one out myself. (laughs) Oh, really? So you've already done this. So I don't need to go home and ruin my microwave. Yeah. (laughs) I uh, no, I highly suggest it. Oh, all right. <laughs> we got we need a microwave here anyway. I was gonna yeah, go home and do it. So. Actually I just told Yeah, no it's... uh Sabrina that we need a very expensive and nice microwave for the apartment so I can bring the microwave in my house here. So the, can... I told my parents the same thing. Oh ah, well whoever microwave. gets it first, yeah. I guess. I 
literally went out of my way and bought an expensive microwave just to put grapes in. And I no, I put a fork in there. Oh <laughs> no! Oh no! <laughs> well, hopefully uh, it survived because they do survive like one one it, metal. It does not uh, blow up like I thought it would. No, it, it just sparks and makes pretty colors. Up my yeah, fucked up the microwave. Yeah, makes yeah, pretty colors. It's worth it. <laughs> so I mean, don't try it at home, but definitely don't put metal. You might want to try it at home. Just... Like me, I fucked up because you know I forgot that some Taco Bell wrappers have aluminum in them. Mm-hmm. So me, just being me, threw it in the microwave anyways. A banana is pretty cool in the microwave too. The tip <laughs> catches on fire. I'm trying that. Okay. <laughs> But lo and behold, my wrapper caught on fire, and it made pretty colors, and my burrito (laughs) tasted amazing. Ooh, how how did the microwave uh, turn out? I'm still using that microwave. (laughs) That's why I was like, we probably need a new microwave. (laughs) It's worth it. But I don't think Sabrina knows I did this. Well, now she does. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) it works fine. (laughs) All right, uh, in... 1980, a Las Vegas hospital suspended workers for betting on when patients would die. I feel like (laughs) there was an episode of Scrubs that was like this, maybe? Uh, I feel like I've seen a doctor show where they bet on when people would die or they bet on something. It might have been. No, I don't feel like House is that fucked up. No, I bet you. 20, I don't know. I bet, man. I bet you twenty dollars that patient's gonna fucking die. <laughs> Pull the plug. Where's my? Time? But I mean, it sounds like where where was this? Nineteen eighty. Las Vegas. So a lot In of Las cocaine. Vegas. So Las this was Vegas, a cocaine fueled betting ring. It yeah. sounds like a Las Vegas thing. They're like, uh, oh, we can't gamble right now, but we can <laughs> gamble on them. Yeah, yeah. You want to just place some wagers on when uh, they're gonna die? I put a hundred and fifty on Henry down the hall. <laughs> my, my money's going to Catherine. She's kicking rocks. I bet my winter home in Florida that he dies in four hours. <laughs> also, oh, Mr. Miller. I need a beer. Oh, fuck. All the way over here. Yeah, go ahead and roll that down there. Oh, oh. You can go ahead and kick that down my way. (laughs) I need that bottle opener, too. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to bounce. Oh, Oh, fuck. It's It's going to explode. Yeah, it's going to explode. I was going to say, it's probably going to (laughs) explode. Yeah. I don't think this works the same. Just flip it. I don't think so either, but, you know. Just flick the tip. That's I'm I like flicking tips. Just the tip. Just yeah. the tip. Just. In France, there's a place called Y. I don't know why that didn't come up well, good, on the radar. You just answered my question. Why? Didn't come up on I don't know. Fuck towns. <laughs> Almonds are a member of the Peach family. This does not make sense that at all. That does not make sense to me at all. And this actually pissed me off, and I'm done with the show. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> How? Yeah. Because, like, when you... <laughs> I don't know. That's It's a nut. Peaches are nuts. They have a nut in them, though. There's a nut that's actually not considered a nut. A banana. Almond. Banana nut. <laughs> Yeah, an almond, apparently. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Because they're fucking part of the peach family. They're fucking the peaches. Get your almonds out of my peach. Get your nuts out of my peach. (laughs) De-nut my peach, please. Oh, God. Uh, In every episode of Seinfeld, there is a Superman somewhere. I don't watch Seinfeld, so I never know. Really? It's been so damn long. I don't... I can't... Yeah, I, I can't remember the last time I watched... Seinfeld. Yeah. The favorite saying, though, you like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any sayings because I don't think I ever watched Seinfeld. I've never watched it. I oh. used to watch it here and there, but I haven't binge watched it yet. Well, you can go ahead and introduce this one since it's only shit well, you care about. Yep. And we got a sound clip for that, so. Yeah. We'll just play that after this On music. On this day. <laughs> On this day in history, only I care about. All right. (laughs) On this day. In 1953, Cambridge University scientist 
James D. Watson and Francis H. C. Crick announced they have determined the double helix structure of DNA, the molecule containing human genes. Did that make it in? No, it hit the fucking hat. Did it? Oh. <laughs> well, DNA is not that old, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I mean they invented DNA though. back in 1953. Apparently. No, no, I feel like it was discovered. Well, it sure it says right here. So, 2013, less than three weeks after making the unexpected announcement that he would step down. 85-year-old Pope Benedict, whatever those symbols mean, officially resigns. I think he was only the uh, second one in <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of years. What is that? That's... It's... Like initials... Okay. <laughs> XVI. <laughs> I think that's 16. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's 16. Yeah, that that guy. <laughs> he resigned. Yeah, he did. For being a diddler. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Uh, uh, I don't want to I don't want to tarnish him like that, but you know, Christianity. Uh oh. He's a great guy. He's uh, ready for here's some spooky effects. Okay. Dude. I bet that sounded awesome in the headphones. He's the only one that knows. Well, shit. And and the viewers. And the viewers. Yep. They will know. They will is it know. much of viewers or would it be listeners? Because, I mean, like, is there a it's, Yeah, it's listeners. Yeah, listeners. We don't know. We haven't figured out how we're going to film this many people. You would need different cameras. Yeah, that's yeah. what I like, suggested. Yeah, we're going to need angles. multiple cameras at that point. Yeah, it's a growing. We're it's a growing process. Yeah, yeah that's well, the well, point of the well, office. Is you know we we learn. Yeah, we'll shit grow as we like go. these walls. They can come down if we want to expand. Yeah, yeah. I'll be mean, tearing it down. <laughs> uh, I actually want that office over there. I do got too. A, they got a break room and a closet. Yep. All right. Well, look uh, yeah. uh, for the listeners. This this how do we force? We should look nice. into forcing out pre existing companies. Or businesses. We just so climb we... up through the ceiling and shut on the floor and they'll never know where it came from. If like it, in the if office. shit keeps happening like the on their floor, they'll eventually move out because they'll think it's the raccoons. And, and the just, landlord's not doing anything about it. So. Just let loose some raccoons They're going to pull them and be like, yo, this is some foul shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're still on that chicken. <laughs> What is that? Is that Play-Doh mixed together? All the colors mixed together? Oh, God, no. Oh, what are you eating? <laughs> Why is it soupy? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. In 1993, Mount Carmel in Waco, Texas. Hey, a, we have a Mount Carmel. Yeah. But it's a retirement Agents place of the U.S. People. Treasury Department's Bureau of uh, AFT, ATF, Launch a raid AFI. against Branch Davidian, Davidian Branch compounds Davidian. as part of an investigation into illegal possession of firearms and explosives by a Christian cult. I tried. What was that TV show or a movie? I don't know. But Netflix? speaking of explosives, I watched some of it. I feel like it was a TV show. Did you see that fucking? John Moxley and Kenny Omega are having an exploding barbed wire match. Yeah. What? What is that? The next. Uh, yeah, it's the next AEW event. Yeah, I guess. Exploding yeah. barbed wire match. We're going to have to get that. that I'm, yeah, interesting. I'm interested in watching it. Yeah. Like, I was like reading it and I'm like, God, this sounds like such a fucking reach. And then I started thinking about it because I'm like, John Moxley and Kenny Omega are some like good fucking wrestlers like better than anything wwe has right now so i feel like this match could be fucking epic yeah we might have to watch it here i just hope the explosions aren't like too obscene like i'm i'm expecting like firecracker or something going off every time they're hit with like barbed wire or they go into barbed wire i think wire. it's in the i want yeah. the barbed wire to explode like i think that's what it is shrap <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was hoping for oh my yeah, God. i think that's what it is it explodes and they hit it because the ropes will be barbed wire instead of ropes if they do it right yeah uh -huh. if, i'm hoping they're 
I'm pretty this sure this is like the first right, yeah. time we're gonna see like deathmatch style wrestling in a mainstream company. Yeah, sign on TV like this does not look good for our future, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna allow murder. Yeah, people throw a huge stink about it. Like, yeah, I know Cody they, Rhodes. Got and hit literally, the they're just chair. like, if you think it's gonna be too violent for you and your kid to watch, don't follow. don't watch it. Simple. Don't watch the match. Watch it afterwards when your kid goes to bed. Like. This and that. It's like you control, you know, what your kids watch. <laughs> and some people just it's like find we that don't difficult. control that. We create the content. It's like that's how DSB is. We create the content. It's up to you whether or not you want to allow your kids to see us shoot guns at kids. <laughs> <laughs> Damn kids. Well said. <laughs> and if for anybody that hasn't watched Brad or Brooke season one, go ahead and watch that. Sorry for the spoiler alert. Just kidding. <laughs> we didn't shoot at any. Yeah. They <laughs> shot at us, the little fucking bastards. <laughs> little shits. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, had to put a plug in. <laughs> no, seriously, go watch Brad or Brooke season one on YouTube. Dylan Street Boys, search us up. <laughs> Is it me? 1860. Holy shit, we are going back in time. 1861 with the region's popular booming. Wait, population booming because of the Pikes Peak Gold Rush. Oh my god, they just started getting gold and everyone's like, oh my god, I'm going to suck your dick. And you're going to come in my vagina and this and that. They're just fucking going crazy with fucking gold orgies. Congress creates a new territory in Colorado. Of Colorado. Colorado was created. So sex orgies and a new territory in Colorado. Yep. Or the Wait. territory of Colorado what was year created. Was this again? Uh, 1861. You can look it up as the 1861 gold sex rush orgies. Gold sex rush orgies. What a great year. Famous Colorado. day in history. <laughs> famous day. Famous, famous. I don't know. Do we have death day? Did we make a clip for death day? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You really shouldn't have. I mean, I don't even know what to do with myself. But you know what? I'm going to kill myself. Happy death day, everybody. It's, it's time for fucking death day. It's death day! Yeah, I, 1965. Yeah, Adolf Schorf. Adolf Schwarzenegger. President of Australia. Wait, from he's 19... the president? Adolf Schwarf? Austria. Yeah. He was the president oh, of Austria. Austria. Oh, I yeah. thought you said Australia. I'm like, no, that Austria. does not sound like an Australian name. I'm sorry. He was president for nine years until he died. He died at 74. Oh. Nine years. This reminds me of fucking, what is it? What we watched last night on I Think You Should Leave or the baby segment. But they did deaths, like how they died. Oh, yeah. We should look up their baby names. <laughs> Uh, all right, 1993. Uh, Little Jimmy Jangles, uh, Ishiro Honda, Japanese film director <laughs> and producer of Godzilla, dies at 81 mm. of car crash. No, I don't know. I, don't oh, know I was either. about to say, at least he went out with a banger. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> I don't want to die of some weak shit. Yeah, I would rather no. go out I wanna, with a like, car exploding. I want, like, to be in the air flying to, like, the most beautiful sunset ever. And then just be tackled by a herd of eagles flying into our engines. And we just explode <laughs> in these beautiful red, white, and blue fireworks. <laughs> so patriotic. <laughs> America. How, how many eagles? Clapping. A herd of eagles. Like, it should be 13 eagles because isn't the 13 it, original colonies. I was thinking US like 50 signs. Yeah, it's yeah it's to it's celebrate it's each state. Yeah. 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 Each it's state, it's state it's being, like being murdered. Now, <laughs> I mean, they're in danger. Isn't it supposed to be like a flock, though? Like, a herd? A, herd? <laughs> a murder of eagles. <laughs> Holy a shit. pack of eagles. There's people, right, there's people right below just clapping while the whole thing's happening. <laughs> like the fucking Fourth of July fireworks. Holy fuck! Oh, I've so never looting. seen something so patriotic. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> this guy. This, this guy, guy knows it. his beer. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Huh? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Wiping tears. Everybody's just wiping tears. Like, <laughs> fourth of July's got nothing on this. Hand me the bottle this. opener. I need the bottle opener. We need two. Woo. 
<laughs> Did that hit your knuckle? No, it hit the... Oh, Jesus. It looked like it hit his knuckle. The fuck did I just do with that beer I took out? Oh. Well. It vanished right before you and then reappeared. David Blaine. Mm. David Blaine. <laughs> this is David Blaine. <laughs> Remember that picture I posted? I don't know if it made it to Facebook, but it's on my Instagram. It was a few years ago. I, like, put mascara in my eyebrows and on my mustache, my beard, and it looked like I had... A, and, oh, and I put eyeliner in my eye. I look like a really shitty magician. <laughs> I was like, that could be a really good Any gimmick. shitty magician just needs mascara and eyeliner. Oh, God. I think, I think the eyebrows. I mean, yeah, Chris together. Angel, David Blaine. They all. Houdini. Um, I, I don't know about that last one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. damn. In uh, 1994, Asen. Giaro, really Pew Chia, <laughs> brother of the last emperor of China, dies at 86. Oh my god. Uh, by samurai. Well, no heart attack. Oh, no, never mind. That was the next one. Oh, it was Sapu. Well, spoiler alert Anthony Mason, in 2015, an American NBA forward of the New York Knicks, Charlotte Hornets. Dies at 48 of a heart attack. R.I.P. Rip. Yep. He played for two terrible teams. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I can't say that because the Hornets were fucking killing it the other day. On yeah, the, the video Hornets I was are nice watching. Because yeah. of LaMelo Ball. But yeah, the they were going were fucking ham. Suck. And I don't watch basketball, but this I'm guy was going fucking crazy. But this kid LaMelo was just... I couldn't stop watching. I was like, oh my God, he's making crazy fucking shots. When he was in high school, he <laughs> dropped 92 points in one game. Damn. I remember 1994 when everyone had the blue jackets that had the hornets on it. And their yeah. colors right now are fire. <laughs> everyone yeah, had are. that. Fire. Everyone had that jacket. And I think who you're school. speaking of, whatever his name is, he's got the fucking matching kicks with yeah. it. And I was he, just like, yo, he's, he's the only one that he matched he, it. He's number two. His jersey number is two. I think he's like 19 years old. Mind you, when he was a, when he was a freshman, he was like... 5'8", five, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, now he's like fucking like 6'6". Yo, six, I, six. I'm Damn. saying it right now. It's a huge They're going to redo Looney Tunes, uh, Space Jam, and he's going to be... They kept the saying Jordan. all these other like basketball players were supposed to be... Well, I know like, that they already came out with a trailer well, I think, wasn't for it? Space Jam too because LeBron's yeah. in it. LeBron, yeah, LeBron. Was, well, LeBron was supposed to be in it. But yeah. they... I mean, that it could be 2022. Right. Maybe. Or, COVID like yeah. slows like everything down, but I don't know. Look at Marvel's uh, everything that's coming up from Marvel. It doesn't look like COVID affected them yeah. at all. Because the new they Spider-Man movie is coming out. I mean, yeah. They're like COVID. Oh no, Disney, like, Disney. We got Disney Plus. We no Marvel's owned by Disney and Disney stationed in Florida. So I mean, if and, you were paying attention to the news, Florida was unaffected by Florida COVID man. this whole Yo, time. Florida does, like, not care. <laughs> they did not give Bro, two I shits. Know, like, I have people on Snap that live in Florida, and they're just, like, out partying and shit, and nobody's wearing a mask. I'm just like, oh, looks like all you they guys did, don't care. Literally all they did that I've seen was limit capacity in arenas. That was the only thing I've right. seen Florida. The only did. thing that they're really doing is just coughing in the opposite direction of someone. I mean, they... Well, good. They should. Like, that uh, that yeah. was something the rest of the United States learned maybe like 20 or 30 years ago. So it's about time for it caught on. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Congrats. Yeah, I know, I mean, it's a step in the right direction. Maybe next pandemic, we'll get them to wear face masks. Who knows? <laughs> the next <laughs> pandemic. We'll know in another 10 years. 20 years. It's against, it's against their religion right now. They don't want to do it. <laughs> God damn. Fucking Florida. Oh, fucking Florida. No, hey, I love Florida. I got family in Florida. In 2020, Freeman Dyson, American physicist, known for his work in quantum, oh my god, electrodynamics. That wasn't even a hard word, bro. <laughs> well, at the beginning, it looked like it. It was just electro. Solid, and state, <laughs> solid state physics, astronomy, and nuclear engineering dies at 96. Oh, damn. Oh, well, he was there for the yeah, beginning. He accomplished I didn't think somebody a lot. that could be that smart would live that long. I feel like the more brain cells you use to think with, like, that shortens <laughs> your, your life lifespan. Is just... look, look at fucking Einstein. He didn't live too long. He lived to, like, 70s, right? I don't know. Uh, I think so. I'm pretty yeah. sure he was, like, doing drugs. He was really young looking when he died. So, I mean, yeah. 
He wasn't that yeah, old. Yeah, he was like 60s, 70s, yeah. but like... <laughs> Yeah, he ain't that old. Then he you was got also crazy. Stephen Hawking, who lived with a disease that you're supposed to die from. He, he, well, to be fair, he probably died like 40 years ago. They just fucking he like thought of some technology to keep <laughs> his like mangled corpse alive. <laughs> no, <someone laughs> yeah, was controlling just, the somebody wheels. Somebody <laughs> controlling him the whole time. Radio controlled. That's why it sounded like shit. Oh, it didn't even God. sound like him. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen Hawking. You did wonders. For everything. What did he do? I. (laughs) (laughs) He knew a lot about space. Yeah. So. Without his laws of space, I don't think Elon Musk would be where he is. No, probably not. Okay. (laughs) Don't cut the cactus. Arizona. Offenders can be sentenced to 25 years in prison. For cutting a cactus. For cutting a cactus. This website In Arizona. Yeah, they worded that weird. They wanted me to say, like, Arizona offenders could be sentenced to 25 long prison time. (laughs) (laughs) That just sounds awful. (laughs) You will spend lots of time... In the you Arizona, spend long time. Chinese this. website. Long time, long time. You be Arizona long offenders time. can be sentenced to 25 years long prison time. Long, long, long time. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's crazy, though. Holy shit. I'm glad I fucking don't look at the fly. Cause are, is it cactuses? Are cacti? Are they endangered? I don't uh, think they're endangered. But are they, like, sacred to Arizona? <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, a full-grown cactus, like one of the bigger ones, could be like hundreds of years old. So, it's not like the trees that we have around here. Like, you would visibly be able to tell a hundred-year-old tree around here because the thing would be massive, you know? And then pine trees. Pine trees. Pine trees are usually very young, always, because they don't last long because they're brittle. Like, the wind blows too hard one day boom snapped <laughs> tree on your house like, you don't want pine trees yeah that's why they make shitty two by fours out of pine trees <laughs> uh homing uh, pigeons are protected by law in australia why are they still using homing pigeons i don't well wait dude homing pigeons yeah like like they can detect like body signatures like body heat and they home in on it and, like, explode, like, homing missiles? Yeah. That's crazy. Fucking Australia's on a, another level. Like, we think that uh, birds are government drones in America. They're using them as homing missiles in Australia. Yeah, uh, Australia does everything, like, completely different. And on top of that, like, I would, I want to go to Australia, but I don't want to go to Australia. They have, like, a spider season. Yeah. It's it's the only time of the year where you can ride the back of a spider. Like, it, oh god! Like, the, you know how terrifying that would be. Giddy up, giddy up, Spidey! Oh man! <laughs> oh, why the oh, fuck I bet my ass, spider? I don't want to go. But, like Australia. everything ends up covered in spider webs. Mm. For like a I saw month. Those photos. Like yeah, that's covered. terrifying. Covered. Yeah, like, and then where saw, do they come from? I saw some photos, or a video, not photos, of a house in Australia, and it was right around that time, of, uh, the person was all calm and collective, and was like, I think, uh, Mommy Spider had some babies, and it's just like one corner, there's thousands of them, little baby spiders that are all like this size. That's um, not a baby! That, they're babies in Australia, like dime size, or quarter size, that's what I was showing for anybody listening. And thousands of them, and then she's like, and then if you look over here, and there's even more in that corner, I was like, dude, fuck, I would have burnt the whole fucking house down. Like, that house would have went yeah, down. Like, that, spiders, they, you took control of this house, and now the you shall can die. take no, control yeah, just, of your house. Just, just they, take it. they kindly, like, yeah. just started a war <laughs> over there in australia banks don't come and repo houses they just send spiders to come and take the houses for them repo spiders <laughs> repo spiders you should watch it it's actually a show over there on tv what repo spiders yeah repo spiders i refuse <laughs> i look that up <laughs> terrifying <laughs> it's just talking heads of spiders like 
smoking cigarettes. Like, yeah, this one guy. <sighs> he just wouldn't give up his house. He fucking covered the whole bathroom and shit. Craziest thing me and my fucking 7,000 siblings saw. <laughs> They're all wearing uniforms and they all have like their names on it. <laughs> They're all like trying to scrape like little baby spiders scraping shit off the walls. Uh, I would watch it. I would watch it. Oh, shit. Where are we? Uh, the oh, bird yeah, can travel long distances and homing can find missiles. its place miles away. Yeah, so it is a homing missile pigeon. Yep. It was once used for sending messages and racing. Oh, I thought you were going to say oh raping. Oh, my God. <laughs> Send my bird over to rape you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fuck with me? I'm going to get my bird over there and rape you. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck the pigeons here. <laughs> ah, shit. It's like fucking family guy when he sees the chick. Yeah. Like, oh, ah, like, shit. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, there's something. I'll be right back. There's something I gotta take care of. <laughs> he just proceeds. He to walks right the door. Just <laughs> start going at it. Holy oh, shit! Uh, the bird earned a prominent position in the country. So according to these weird laws, it is considered illegal to capture, injure, or kill homing pigeons. Well, what if they try to rape you? Yeah. What if they're raping? It's self defense. It should be self defense. <laughs> it should. Be but, it's yeah, it's it's so. You're going to court. You're the one that gets locked up. Yeah, you're the. <laughs> if you're found guilty, you get oh, you a whopping. Got raped? Throw him away. It's a whopping <laughs> two hundred and fifty dollar penalty. Oh well, I mean, I could pay that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take out four pigeons. For... Take, take out four of them. Yeah, yeah. There's take out four pigeons. Here, I'm gonna pay you right now, right before I go to Australia, just in case anything happens. <laughs> yeah, just as soon as you land in Australia, hand the pay first the official money. like, here's a thousand. What's this for? I'm Give me the first four, four pigeons. pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I step outside, bro. <laughs> Oh, oh man. Oh, okay. Well, the curfew on flushing toilets after 10 p.m. is quite a strict regulation in Switzerland. What the fuck is wrong with Switzerland? Apparently, you, it's illegal. You can't even hike naked in Switzerland. So, don't be flushing your fucking toilet. They must be really loud toilets. Like, we think we have loud toilets, like, on an airplane. <laughs> this shit's like... <laughs> Ear candy. Well, what if you have like a huge family? You guys just have to take late night shit. So it's just shit, shit building. You on have to hold it. it, or you go outside. You and shit you on dump. someone else's shit. Yeah, you yeah, you just shit on somebody else's wow. shit. You just let it pile up for them. That's why they're really loud toilets because they need to be able to suck down the piles of turds that have piled up over twelve hours, not being able to flush. Like that, that episode of South Park when that guy like has to really shit and it just keeps he just building up, shit, up around and he it. slowly goes. <laughs> Stan's dad. Wasn't <laughs> there an episode where they d- discovered that it's better to eat through your ass and shit out your yeah, mouth? Yeah, that was like one of the first yeah. seasons. Oh, yeah, oh, Cartman, boy. he fucking discovered. He, he was like, bat. Everyone was he doing it. He up his ass and they're just like, blah, blah, blah. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> They're just shitting in garbage out of his ass or his mouth. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Cops can bite. <laughs> There's a law that you allows. Just left it at that. I thought you were going to. <laughs> cops are uh, there. Are there's a law that allows cops or the police department in Ohio to bite a dog <laughs> if they think it would help the. You know what? I'm okay with down. this because it's better than having a dog get shot. Yeah, just bite the bite dog. it back. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, the dogs. We're gonna bite harder. Probably. Actually, I don't know. No, the dog dogs. Kind of dog. Well, depending on the dog. Yeah, depending on what kind of so dog. They so, if they got the lockjaw, you're fucked. If yep. they don't have the lockjaw, I mean, you could, chances are you could just, like, pry their mouth off of you. Like, they're weak. So, there was a time when I was, I was, like, younger. I ended up getting attacked by a dog. I remember. You told me this story. And I ended up biting the dog's ear. <laughs> And it like it gave up instantly. All right, Tyson. That that it's no like seriously. That's that a known is fact. Go after their ears. It's if one you of their bite most their ears, spots. yes, they will back off. Yep. And uh, I, I didn't think I would have to ever use it. Funny but... story. And now I have a new question because it made me think of some of the stories you told me. So now I have a new question for our segment later. Oh boy, that will touch on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bite a dog in its ear or its ass. <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> Just point it right on the hole. 
<laughs> Turn around. Like Squidward eating, fucking biting the Krabby Patty. His teeth With come his out. Teeth in the... <laughs> <laughs> the little oh, nibble. The oh, man. Uh, offensive gestures and swearing is illegal in Kenya and UAE. I don't know what you uh, United Arab, what was it, Empire or something like that. Something Holy like that. shit. A United Arab Empire? That's awesome. And Someone there's no it. swearing? It is considered to illegal to use swear words and make insulting slash rude gestures in public. So, oh my God, no wonder why we don't have any Arabs playing Call of Duty. Ever. United Arab Emirates. I mean... Emirate. E- I don't mean to call you guys Arabs either. I just don't know if like that's how we identify you. Um, but why don't you guys play Call of Duty? Do you guys just know you're going to start swearing and cursing at us? And they're like, I ain't doing jail look, time. We're so damn <laughs> toxic <laughs> that they just feel so like they want to say it back. <laughs> they <laughs> they probably, have their own version of cops. Yeah, I was going to say that because they got mad money over there. They yeah, probably they just probably have, have their own. Yeah. That's like real life. Like yeah, the like, room is just becomes like a whole map. Oh yeah, they got Dubai over there, right? Yeah. Some shit. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We yeah. can't fuck with that. They're, yeah. they, it's all. It's like a city of billionaires. They're, like, they're, yeah, they're, they're having no, the yeah. fucking time of their life while we're. <laughs> oh wait, no. Take the, that O. It's a country. Nice. What? Oh Dubai? wait, no. I'm country confused. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, that, the empire. Weird. I mean, an empire would be Abu Dubai. Countries, that's right? the capital, Abu Dubai. Yeah. And it would be under an empire at that point, right? Something like that. Either way, your laws and whatever it is are weird over there. Who has empires anymore? (laughs) Yeah, I I really don't. (laughs) You guys are so old. (laughs) <laughs> like get with the times. They're slowly Just split getting off there. from the rest of your country. Uh, a couple it's years ago, they let women uh, drive cars. Oh yeah, you guys need. Wait, to get, oh, wow. that was in Saudi Arabia. I don't know if. And I bet they still make their women cover their faces. How are you supposed to know if you're getting a ten or you're getting a fucking grenade for a girl? I like, love how you say grenade. <laughs> like, we need to bring that back. <laughs> grenade. Legit, like. How are you supposed right to know? Now. Like, I mean, some girls do have mad, sexy eyes, but you can't just fall in love with their eyes because they could have a fucked up horse mouth. Right. You or don't want horse mouth on your penis. Warts all An over their face. Amazing body, but a horse blemishes. mouth. Horse <laughs> mouth. No, like. No, they, they don't. They they don't cover their eyes over. Her fucking. Or their face you'll over. have her teeth bigger than her booty. They like, just wear the. Right. Nobody wants that thing on their I'm head but the their face full face is shown oh no yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah. oh they don't conceal their faces fully no. anymore no. oh okay because i'm big on the face no, I, don't still, think, I don't think they ever did still i bet they have banging bodies and they probably need to be showing them off you can wear yeah. whatever they can <laughs> wear whatever the them. fuck they're they want under them. there they don't have to wear underwear or anything yeah. they can wear whatever the fuck they want under there or nothing nothing yeah they can wear nothing yeah well still they're wearing fucking dark clothes and their whole body's concealed like that. It's hot. It's a desert <laughs> over there. Fuck that shit. They're used to it. They got an AC Just under there. Just mad sweaty, like uh, nasty. They smell nasty all the time. They got sweat coming down. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No. You're right there. Yeah, that one. I can see when he, like, scrolls. Yeah. Uh-huh. 50, what is that, kilograms? Yes. 50 kilograms of spud. Oh, spuds? Like That's potatoes? the maximum. I love maximum mashed taters. Permitted quantity of potatoes one can possess in West Australia at well, one time. Why do you guys have such fucked up laws, but you don't fucking have weird laws for your spiders? Like, and I would be arresting mad spiders. <laughs> Right. They gotta go. Yeah, they yeah. gotta go. So it needs to be done. Start They're arresting like, oh, spiders. 50, no, yeah. they have laws against spuds. Yep, spuds. Anything oh, over each leg of the spider. Fifty kg. Looks this way. Fucking millions of spiders. Looks that way. Is that more than fifty kilograms of spuds you got there, bud? Uh, anything over fifty? <laughs> no, I see nothing over here. But he's like crikey, illegal. <laughs> crikey, that looks like way too many spuds. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> Gotta get him out of here. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> well, what about this? What about the millions of spiders over there? 
Ah, what do you mean? You got you got fifty one kilograms of spuds, don't you? <laughs> it's a lot of potatoes. Fifty one. That's a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Bust through the house. Take all your potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> the Falling through spiders. The spiders bust into your house. Take all your taters and clear out. They're working for the cops. <laughs> oh my god! Get them out of here. The spiders are in on it. Oh fuck! Don't go to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> That's the title of this podcast. Is, don't go to Australia. The whole country's built upon spiders. Terrible laws. If you look at the ground long enough, you'll see that it's actually moving. It's millions upon millions and billions of spiders. And you'll get arrested. So okay. yeah, and then you'll get arrested because you stared at a spider the wrong way, and you offended more than just one. You you offended millions. And then you accidentally killed the homing pigeon because it was in the ground being yep. eaten by trying spiders. Trying to rape you. And it was just trying to rape you and you killed it. And they're going to repo your shit. So, yeah. I mean. <laughs> and you didn't have $250 to, you know, yeah, pay so... for killing that rape pigeon. You're screwed. <laughs> just don't yeah, go. Pigeons. You're fucked. <laughs> yeah, just don't go. Stay yeah, the America. spiders work for the bank, so. Just wait for them to come here. <laughs> Facts. Like oh, murder um, hornets. No mooning in Hellenic Republic. I don't know what that is. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, look that up. The Hellenic Republic, which is the official name of Greece. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so, like, mooning as in, like, I can't show you my You can't ass. show your bum cheeks. <laughs> you can't give hickeys with your asshole. You can't do none of that. Damn it. But, like, <laughs> what... I have a dark ass, so like, what happens if I do it at night? Like, am I am I still getting in trouble? Like, no one's really. Well, the moonlight's still gonna glisten off of your shiny ass, (laughs) (laughs) and they're gonna know. And you're you're gonna get arrested. (laughs) What is that? Is that what is that glistening in the moonlight? Wait, uh, hey, get over here, you son of a bitch! (laughs) I know that glisten. (laughs) That ain't no moon I've ever seen. It's only a half moon now, and I see a full moon right over there. Uh, considers mooning an act of disrespect and pro provocation. That provocation. Provocation. They're for vacation. Oh, pro. Oh, oh it's vocation. pro for vacation. Okay. Yeah. The country has zero tolerance against mooning, and offenders can be arrested or made to do time. I mean, that's in is, is, wouldn't that be the same thing? <laughs> be like, hey. What are you in for? A decent uh, uh, Well, I'm not actually here. I have to somehow figure out how to make time. <laughs> Be like... <laughs> I mean... Just don't move. Oh, wait. Made to do... T- somehow I have to figure out how to have sex with time. I got this. Florida man! Florida man naked! Shaking his penis at people. Shot. A Florida man is in critical condition after he brought the wrong weapon to a gunfight and was shot while (laughs) naked and carrying a Bible. (laughs) What? (laughs) Naked carrying a Bible. God bless his soul. The shooting (laughs) happened outside of Sunshine Garden Apartments at 680 or 6840 Pembroke Road. Just southeast of North Penny Airport in Pembroke Pines. Police responded to the apartment complex so after multiple P- people. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I nailed that. <laughs> Police responded to a parent complex of <laughs> apartment people. complex after pe- or multiple people called 911 to report a naked man running around. He was knocking on doors while naked, and when people. <laughs> Or when someone would answer, the man would ask, do you want some of this? What is, oh my god. Was the it like this said the man would then point his penis while shaking it at them. Who was your daddy, you want huh? some of this? Huh? Forget about it. <laughs> That's the effect of COVID down there. Holy fuck. <laughs> and he's not even wearing a face mask while, while he's doing it. <laughs> while officers were en route to the scene. Another caller reported that the man had been shot. <laughs> yeah, he shot. Someone shot. He him. went to oh, the wrong that door. You remember that yeah, guy that had his penis out, pointing to it, shaking at people? Yeah, he shot. Yeah, he's gone. He's out of work. Like, head. can you imagine? So like, take your time showing up. That one guy that just is like, honey, you won't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fred, you're lying. 
He's like, no, he's out in the front right now. <laughs> don't look. No, actually, don't look. I swear to God, you look at his penis, I'll kill you. And she's like, you serious? <laughs> Upon arrival, police found the man on the road bleeding, profusely suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, he was transported to a local hospital with life-threatening injuries. They shot him well, right yeah, in. they shot him. Right in his penis. Well, yeah, I was going to say, was one of them, one of those shots. God, I hope so. Upon, <laughs> upon arrival, police found the man. Oh, wait. you Why'd you double that up? I don't know. The shooter later called 911 and turned himself in. Oh, good citizen. Hmm. Fucking Florida. Oh, well, I guess you can read this one. Oh, we're doing both Florida Man? Yeah, you might as well. Florida Man Part 2! Woo! Florida Man begging for food at KFC, stabbed by customer. <laughs> Oh my god, they stabbed a homeless man. He went, he skipped the line. That was my turn. Give me some chicken. Give me your what? chicken. <laughs> you Flor- want to cut me? A Florida man who walked into a fast food restaurant and asked for a customer for food was beaten and stabbed by that person. Oh, he was trying to take their chicken. He just wanted some chicken. Or he wanted the wedges. Asked, be- One or the other. Drumsticks, man. <laughs> he was asking for the best piece of chicken. <laughs> oh man, I miss KFC. Yep. Oh, nah, Popeyes I, is better. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Brandon Dion Pearson, twenty seven, is facing Dijon. <laughs> Dijon Mustard, twenty seven, is facing a charge of attempted murder <laughs> over KFC. Oh, uh, Pearson is being held on in the Broward County Jail. With it. I can't read it in red. Why'd you highlight it? Because I wasn't gonna read it. Oh. I was gonna. I was gonna put you it. Could just delete it. Well, I didn't want to yet. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna copy and paste it into next week's show. Oh, all right. Or into a list of things that we could use for later. There you go. Anyway, his bail was set at fifty thousand dollars. Oh my god, that's a lot for yeah stabbing somebody. I mean, that chicken must have been great though. Yeah, he stabbed somebody over. A yeah. Homeless guy. <laughs> well, there's more to it. The victim, whose name was redacted. redacted from the arrest report, approached Pearson at a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant in Fort Lauderdale at about noon on Wednesday. Ah, Fort Lauderdale, that makes a lot of sense. It yep. was fucking cocaine field. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Pearson refused <laughs> and began insulting the man. The two men cursed and insulted one another and began throwing punches. An employee managed to separate them, but the victim began throwing rocks. He picked up from the parking lot and threw them at Pearson. Pearson then walked outside, punched the victim down. As the victim attempted to kick him, Pearson allegedly pulled out a knife and just stabbed him in the head. My God. Holy One too fuck. many rocks. <laughs> Pearson went back inside the restaurant, sat down, and waited for the police to arrive. The victim was taken to a nearby hospital. According to a arrest report, Pearson told detectives he stabbed the man because he threw rocks at him. All right, that, that makes more sense than just stabbing the man over chicken. Well, now we know not to go to Florida or Australia. So yeah. Well, we, equally we, dangerous. Yeah, so oh that's the other Florida man in the world is Australian man. Yep. I don't know which is worse. Okay, so now we know. Don't go to Florida because if not, like, if you go, you're going to get stabbed in the head. And if you go to Australia, spiders just everywhere. Yep. And raping pigeons. Yeah, raping yeah. pigeons. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, not no, us. We're through. not raping pigeons. The pigeons the, come after yeah. you with homing devices to rape you. And we're going to end up going to jail for it, so. Yeah, you'll go to jail if you don't have two hundred two hundred fifty dollars per person per pigeon. Per I pigeon, mean. per pigeon that rapes, not person. You're not raping yeah, person. No, don't rape, please. Stop. <laughs> please stop raping. All right, man. All right, man. All right. Well, I have a new segment <laughs> specifically designed for you two. Oh boy, I'm actually kind of uh, nervous. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, so I'm I'm gonna one. do one one for each of you. And we'll just go down the list. Right, well, we'll go back and forth, so I'm not reading. There's not too much time. Maybe it's going to be pretty professional. Probably the most professional part of the whole show. Yeah. All right. It's just questions. So, you know, answer interview. them accordingly. Yeah, a little interview. So Great. This segment is called Things You Hate. <laughs> 
Goose. Oh God. Do you hate not making TikTok videos anymore? No. Why? I thought that was gonna be like your life. Like you wanted that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I really thought about it. I'm just like. What was the end factor when we all sent you our response to that one? That day? actually motivated me to make more TikTok. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I got everybody's attention now. I'm like, okay, cool. No, no, I procrastinate a lot, so yeah. I like I always want to make them. I'm just like content. Nah, I don't hard. feel like it. it's it's hard. It's, it is hard to be consistent with making content. It is. Like, you don't want to reach for shit, and yeah. TikTok requires you to do it daily. And it's like one multiple day, multiple times a day. It's like one day I could post a video and get like thousands of views, and like I post one the next day and I get like two hundred, and it's just yeah, inconsistent. Yeah, it's tough, but it's whatever. Okay, well, snow. What's up? I think this is the question everybody's been dying for the answer for. Oh, boy. Do you actually hate it when you're getting head and it's you sucking your own dick? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I would never forget the day that we said that to work. Okay, well, is that, like, considered, like, <laughs> would that be considered, like, a self-blowjob or, like, masturbation? No, it's, oh. it's a... Uh, well, I mean, I just want to know. Do you, do uh, you I mean, hate it well, when I it's mean, you? If it was possible. When it turns out to just be you, though. When, you're getting like, is it a clone of me? It. Or no, is it, it's, you're it's, enjoying it's you. it, obviously, but then you look down and it's you. But that thing. just... <laughs> Remember in Naruto when he has a shadow clone? It's just like that. It, so is it like a clone of me that's giving me a head? It is you. 100% it, you. That doesn't... <laughs> you have the taste of your dick on your tongue. Oh, boy. <laughs> No, I'm going to hate that. Okay. So then why do you do it? You, you, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ask yourself, like, is to spit or to swallow the real question? Like, what? No, I <laughs> what don't. What do you choose? Ah, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. All right, Goose. All right. Do you hate not being a barber right now? Yeah. I hate it. I hate that well, at least you're going to school for it. Yeah. So that's good. Always, always. Snow! What's up? Do you hate working swing shifts? I fucking hate it. There's <laughs> no I, sleep I don't involved. know anybody that likes a swing shift. Like, I, I love the money, of course. The money is oh, always, yeah. like, a motivator. But, like, doing swing shifts you is You can't just, ever get used yeah, to like, it. It's the fact that they want to switch Every week, like if we were switching like monthly, ev- monthly, I already mentioned that to them, and they're like, "That's fucking retarded." Yeah, and I'm like, "You want to know how? why they said that? Because they've been doing swing shift for fucking since they started. They yeah. they've been yeah they've been sticking to the weekly since like Fuck fucking that. forever." Are you I'm happy like, there though? Like, are you like, like more happy there than a pine cone? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, I'd rather. Work I stick at, with the money, though. Nah, in my opinion, I'd rather work at a place where I like I'm like I'm happy and like yeah, I, I like being there. Then like if, like if I'm getting paid less, let's say for example, like if I was to go to Onyx or whatever, or even think about it, yeah, the money's great there, but I'd rather stay at Pineco where I'm like happy and more comfortable, even though I'm making less. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. or I, don't I would know, go so. to a place where I know that eventually I'll be making a good amount of money. Yeah, you work but I'll take up. the hit for yeah, I'll take the hit for the time being, just so I like I know that I'm happy where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. but so I come back. Prefer no. <laughs> what I was gonna say is go join Janine. Or yeah, go see Janine. Because yeah, I want to see where that money is. We're all gonna be going that, that way. So I mean, I would definitely do that. I just need to see where the money. That is. or Spectrum. I, feel, like, I hear Spectrum's, Spectrum's really good, but I don't want to do that driving shit. Yeah, that's yeah. too much. Fuck driving. Yeah. Goose! <laughs> Fuck. on that mic more than it's in that mic. Really? That's yeah. weird. That's I heard funny. the echo. Don't you hate it when you're making out with your girlfriend, but every time she slides her tongue in your mouth, it's actually your el- elementary school principal? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! Don't you hate that though? Actually, yeah, don't you hate that though? I love it, man. <laughs> oh, oh, so he doesn't? Hey, all right, cool. <laughs> so I'm he a, likes I'm when like, like his girlfriend's tongue turns into his say, elementary school. 
principal. But isn't yeah, like your I principal like, like Mr. Uh, what's his Mr.? name? Mr. I never had a <laughs> Mr. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not sucking my own dick. <laughs> hey, look, look. <laughs> hey, he can reach it. So I mean, props to him. I had to take out a few ribs to do so, but you Marilyn know. Manson. I guess I should call the cops on you now. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't paying shit. You're just gonna get locked up. Uh, Snow. Sup. What did you hate most about COVID? Uh, it ruined our cruise. Mm. It ruined our fucking that? cruise. Yeah, can we talk about that for a minute? I am so upset. My parents. Mm. Up until, like, two months before the cruise were dead set that this shit was happening. We had stopped paying for it, like, months in advance because we knew. We knew that. We knew. I was like, I know they're going to cancel it. And fucking lo and behold, they canceled it. And then lo and behold, a couple months later, once Biden gets into office, everything's starting to go back to normal. And it's like, oh, that's funny. It that's... probably could have just been delayed for, like, six months. So, <laughs> so did your parents end Fuck up it. paying for all the, for like their part? They got everything back. Okay. Um, I remember, I think yeah. you put in like a hundred. I only put in like 50. Yeah, we didn't put in enough. Um, they did give us back a portion of it, but I think it was like, it wasn't the full amount just because right. they had, we didn't hit that threshold of right. where we got it all back. Well, I mean, but, we, we could try again next year. Yeah, I was figuring just keeping it and putting it towards yeah, the next cruise. I've never been on a cruise, so I'm just like, I need to go. Yeah. You see, I've been posting those photos yeah. every day now because, like, off. this is I around like the, the time photos. we go every time. I like the photos, and I'm like, fuck dude, you, dude for posting this because I want to go. I fucking, the iguana with the parrot on my head. Like, right. I was like, I love cruises. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and they they took that from us. Yeah, yeah they fuck fucking you, took it. How dare you? <laughs> you fucking, fucking Corona. Assholes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. The cruise, definitely. I just put a dent in so much. Gus, I mean Goose. <laughs> I have so many nicknames, guys. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, everybody who's listening to this is gonna know, anyways. Right. Do you hate losing a sniper battle? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Call of Duty. So like a one v one, or just like yeah. if I die to a like sniper, it, you see the like you the, the, see the glare, the glare off their scope, and like they see your glare, obviously, and you're both taking shots at each other, and you fucking lose that battle. I get fucking pissed, especially in Cold War because the shots are so like they're so they're so bad, so, so like, bad, dude. I could be like right here. I watched his video and I that died. you shared. Or would it- I think it was the one you shared where oh. you sniped him and it was literally on him, but he got the shot and his was off. Yeah. Yeah. He, he missed my head. <laughs> yeah, he in missed, the, uh, but he oh got it. God. Yo, it's like in Modern Warfare, it was so consistent. Like it was there in Cold War. Dude, I could be right here and he shoots the complete opposite way and I die. The only time Bullshit. you'll have a consistent fight in Cold War or any COD game is if you turn cross play off. Right. Unfortunately. My shots are on point, though. So I like I playing with everybody, so I deal with missing a shot here and there. Right. Like, I don't care. Because we still do fucking good, yeah. so. So, if anybody okay. wants to go up against me in a 1v1 snipe, you'll be Yeah, bring it. We'll fucking do it. Well, you gotta put out your gamer tag. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and do that. <sighs> TLGT Uchiha. Add me right there. On X- well, on my X- minus account. the TLG part, because that's the clan tag, but oh, yeah, go follow true. 2 Legit Gaming. Speaking true, of that. Yeah, you'll see our videos true. up there. Yeah. Twitch, YouTube. Everywhere. Go follow Nasty. He's nasty. Oh, he, he is nasty. 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 Too nasty. Make it nasty. Make it nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where were we? No. Um. Oh. Shin. Do you hate not working at your dream job? I, I don't have a dream job, like, per se. But... but Given what you said previously, where yes. you're working right now is not your it dream is job. It's not so where I want to be. Do you hate be. that it's not your dream job? Yeah, yeah, I guess we could say that, okay. yeah. Um, I don't really know where I want to be, but I definitely don't want to be... There. <laughs> the issue is, since I'm a newbie, I'm like everyone's bitch. Uh, yeah. That. So, like... Everyone's above me, and since everyone's above me, whatever anyone says goes. And, like, I have... Yeah, that's what the problem is. So, unless it's, like, the highest up that's telling me what to do, I have to listen to each one of them. 
I'm like, that's so fucking stupid. You so you have to there. listen to what Christian says. I know. I know. Christian's your it, boss. Yeah. Oh, is. God. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're Christian's bitch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can put that one into perspective. Well, actually, no, he gets kind of upset. Because, All those times like, he would meet you at Pinecone Hill and, like, he would, like, go up and do that gay shit with you and he'd be like, what What are you doing? Get away from me, blah, blah, blah. Now he can do it and you have to take it. Have to take it. <laughs> okay, nothing against gay people. Nothing against gay people. Yeah, nothing against gay people. But, Sean, but, come on. But, yeah, but, no, Sean, no. he's forcing your, he gets, your cheeks he apart. He gets upset because he'll tell me something and I'll look directly in his right face <laughs> and I'll be like, fuck off, kid. <laughs> and he's like, you can't say that to me. I'm your goddamn boss. <laughs> oh. Uh Christian, I miss you if you no ever lie, hear this episode. Phone. No hate. I miss you, bro. It's you, Fucking play some COD with us, motherfucker. Facts. All right. Uh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, wait. How did I... I fucked this all up. Oh, yeah, well... Okay, so, Goose. Do you hate it when someone else walks into the bathroom to dump it in the stall next to you? When you're dumping and you've already stunk up the bathroom. Yeah, I, I, I hate it. I hate when I'm like blowing that bitch up. And, and somebody, somebody just gets in. right next to you but and starts honestly, blowing it up like they add to it. Honestly, yo, you can ask Kevin. Kevin from work, he even said he was like, the only person I would take a shit next to is Goose. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, was me, he was like, I would take a shit next to you. <laughs> He's like, anybody else? No. So if it's not Kevin... Don't be fucking mad. Somebody was blowing up a toilet the other day. I went into the urinal, take a piss, and like as soon as I started pissing, it's like they forced it out. It was just massive, violent explosions. And I thought the porcelain was cracking <laughs> over there. I like, blame Chud. It smelt so bad. Like I'm like holding my breath, like covering my nose, like oh my fucking god, like with this mask ain't doing shit. Like <laughs> the fuck. So like that's almost. A- as much as a piss off for me as uh, when I'm pissing in the urinal and there's like eight urinals in between like me and this other person and they want to walk all the way over next to me. Yeah. And they want to start up a conversation while we're peeing. Like they don't want to be lonely at the urinal. Again, they know that you suck your own dick so they're just like (laughs) 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 It's like, hey, are those people that moan when they pee, and they put their hands uh, up on the wall, and they choose yeah. to be next to you, and they just, uh, right on the wall. I do that when I take a shit. I'm like, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Speaking I, of that, Sean, did you hate when I threw 1014 rugs over the stall at you when you were taking dumps? <laughs> the first time, I was, I, I didn't know how to react. I was, like, dying <laughs> laughing, because I was like, who the hell is actually you know what's funny? throwing a rug over I the stall? I felt so guilty for it, I immediately went and told my boss at the time. I went and told Q and Mark, and I was just like, yo, I did this in case, like, any repercussions come from it, and they laughed. And they're like... You think we're gonna fucking say anything? So yeah, yeah Sean, remember, we're not gonna say. Yeah, I remember we was all in shipping, and he was taking mad long, and me and you were just like, "Dude, where is Sean?" Because like, I needed. I literally asked him to go roll this ten fourteen yeah. for me, and he's like, "All right, after I take the shit." And he took mad long, so eventually I got fed up, and I took the rug to the bathroom with me and threw it over the stall at him. <laughs> You're like, well, hey, he was taking a here's shit. the 1014. Like hey, roll that when you're done. I was just like, ah, oh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Talking about that 1014, remember when me and him were texting each other at work and he sent me a picture of him in the fucking bathroom and I texted him back, hey, I, it doesn't feel right without throwing a 1014. <laughs> you should have just sent him a picture of a 1014. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you gotta roll this. <laughs> oh, man. Looking kind of lonely in there without this next to you. Uh, <laughs> all right. Sean, or Snow, whatever we're fucking calling you, do you hate it when Gus makes you kiss his forehead at night with your asshole? Uh, If anything, I would say he hates it more, but, like, I I enjoy it. I I, I enjoy enjoy this. I love the honesty. I mean, you guys are bros, so. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a bromance. And one more for you, Snow, for being such a good sport. Do you hate being on this podcast? (laughs) I, honestly, I've had a great time. Uh, you know, like, 
I only want to kill myself a little, but you know. <laughs> I would ask Goose this, but he's been dying to be on the podcast. Yo, so yeah. Yeah. yo, ev- yo like <laughs> every day, I'm just like, dude, when are you gonna have us? When are you gonna have us, bro? I'll well, pull up whenever. Yeah, one no, day we'll have two mics for each of you. Well, we can definitely have you guys back but, now yeah. that we know. Yeah. Um, weekends. And I'm always... one day we'll have two two more mics, <laughs> and <laughs> hopefully instead of having well, one. Hang up on the vent right there. Well, actually, you can just get one more because I have an extra one that I oh. don't use. Oh, shit. Oh, all right. Yeah, you can just bring it. it yeah, we it's need just, cords. It's just like that. Yep. Uh, I, have one, I have one extra cord, but th- we'll have an extra one once I get a new one. Cause then we need shit. one more tripod. so we can My mic film does it. not I'm like not this. Lie, I think I have a tripod, too. Because so. I got mine right here, but it's not enough. It would have just been like I was thinking like I could put it over in that corner and get us all, but then I can't get your facial reactions and I can't get his facial reactions. Yeah, the, yeah get one yeah. right here. It's yeah, we need one on you guys. It would be we would probably rearrange it to where we're both sitting on the same side. That way we could have yeah. one camera on us. Word. One camera on we'll you guys. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll fucking. By yeah, by the time oh, oh, by the time uh. Our lease is up. We'll figure it out everything, and then we yeah, have, we can move the fuck out. <laughs> we won't have the space for it anymore, <laughs> <laughs> or we'll be upgrading to a bigger space. Yeah, closer. Like, hopefully, uh, where, where was it? Fen Street. He said he's got a spot, or North Street. Um, right across the street from Autos. Oh, right behind. Right, uh, Burger Wait, that's King's the right behind us. Oh, oh, it, that yeah, Burger spot. King's right behind it. Okay, next to the. Um, Oh, that spot. Right. The car inspection about. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, if yeah. you ever get hungry, BK's right there. Yeah, and autos. And too. autos for breakfast. And, um, I could fucking autos. walk to the office because it's like down the street. From yeah. Me at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I like this place because Brattlebrook is right there. Yeah, literally, <laughs> we're called Brattlebrook Studios. Brattle the Brooks antenna I see us. from my house, I can see from the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yep. Literally. We should walk to Brattlebrook one day. In no, the in the summertime, I'm totally going to be walking. Or we a should lot. go up and kayak down to this point and then go to work here. Just go up. <laughs> Starting over by Walmart, come in. That's where we park and we got to kayak. Kayak to here. <laughs> now, technically, we could um, go to the end of that dead end street where we usually. I think film. there's waterfalls in between there. No, no, not between Walmart and here. No, it's oh, all flat. All right. It's just really w- rocky. Oh, but nice. we can start. Thank from God the, we're in plastic. Start kayaks. from the Beaver Dam, and it'll <laughs> come out up over there, and then we can start take... at the Beaver Dam. <laughs> yep, start at the Beaver Dam, go down a little stream, and then it'll bring us right behind. You could have your car and... parked here then. Have have like, and then I can kayak and walk home. Well, I, I want to know like what what what's the deal with beavers, man? They look at they look like. They're very. They look at a river and they're like, "I don't like it." It'd be a shame <laughs> if somebody built their Let's house just here put it and turned it into a lake. Like this fucking, this fucking river, man. Yeah. I'm gonna ah, fix this. I hate running water. <laughs> I, I hate it. So I just much. despise running water. <laughs> Better make the stagnant. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, this man. fucking guy over here with this house. I'm gonna flood it with a dam. <laughs> You're done for. Mm, it'd be a shame if I made it a mosquito nesting pool. <laughs> <laughs> this place Literally. needs more mosquitoes. <laughs> Where's all the fungus? <laughs> all right, Start well, algae. We need more algae. I say it was a success. Less Cut it. Trees. It's shit. <laughs>